Kenny Miller in Celtic better than Rangers' admission. Dyson Maeda should be back in full training early this week despite being injured at Ross County on Saturday. And Mikey Johnston's Instagram update. A reluctant Kenny Miller, admits Celtic, has looked better than the Sefco in the early stages of the season. But, he reckons Gio van Bronckhorst's team can kickstart their campaign by turning things around against Union SG on Tuesday night. Angie Postecoglou's team have their noses in front at this early stage in the title race with just one goal in it between the Glasgow rivals, who don't face off until they meet at Parkhead on match day six. Miller admits it's the defending champions who have looked better so far, but has tipped Schurz to improve as the season wears on. He said on BBC Sports Scene, Celtic have started playing a bit better, they look really excited going forward. I can't see either of them dropping too many points before that derby on September 3rd. Dyson Maeda should be back in full training early this week despite being injured at Ross County on Saturday. The winger seemed to injure himself as he attempted an acrobatic shot at goal late in the first half and failed to reappear after the break. Liel Abida came off the bench with hotter switching wings as the hoops pushed for a breakthrough with Kyogo Furuhashi obliging in the 48th minute. He got a bit of a knock, but he's okay, it's nothing serious. He'll be fine. I just felt that second half I knew we'd get a lot of the ball, we had the wind behind us, and Liel in those situations he gets on the end of things and can beat his men. I thought he could make an impact and he did. After scoring in yesterday's 3-1 win Abida will certainly be pushing for a place in the side that starts away to Kilmarnock on Sunday. With speculation that he will be leaving Celtic on loan this month Mikey Johnston has returned to Instagram after more than two months without posting. With no comment, the winger shared an image in the black Celtic away kit which looks like it was taken in the pre-season friendly away to Rapid Vienna. Johnston has been missing from Celtic's 20-man match day squad for the first two competitive matches of the season. Some stats on him. Michael Johnston. Date of birth, April 1999. Place of birth, Glasgow, Scotland. Age, 23. Height, 176 m. Citizenship, Scotland. Position, attack left winger. Player agent. Avid Sports Group. Current club, Celtic FC. Joined, July 1, 2019. Contract expires, May 31, 2025. Date of last contract extension. December 28, 2019. Current value £720,000. This has went down around 200 k Watching Jota in a Celtic shirt right now is a joy for any football observer. The 23-year-old Portuguese scored a stunning goal last weekend against Aberdeen and on Saturday, in a 3-1 triumph over Ross County in Dingwall, he was the assist king, laying on all three in an important win for Angie Postecoglou's team. Taking the three points back down the A9 for the defending champions was vital given that entering the 84th minute, the scoreline was locked at 1-1. After a goalless first half in which Celtic thoroughly dominated but could not break down a well-organised county, Hyogo Furuhashi opened the scoring on 48 minutes, only for Alex Iacovitti to equalise with a header 10 minutes later. While you always had the feeling Celtic would find a winner, it didn't come until six minutes from time via debutant defender Moritz Jens. Liel Abida added gloss in stoppage time. Celtic will always feel they can win domestic matches with Jota around. He had shown flashes in the opening 45, but it was in the second when he really came into his own. Two-footed and supremely confident, poor Connor Randall ended up injuring himself trying to stop him. Jota's fancy tricks and turn of pace created the first goal, although his presence of mind to pick out Furuhashi cannot be understated. Nor can the accuracy of his cross to find Jens, whose bullet header enthralled the travelling fans behind the goal. His pass to Abida was fairly mundane in comparison, but he is stardust in the Celtic camp right now. Jota has a five-year deal at Celtic, but at this rate, 
Postacoglu will do well to hang on to him for one year. His levels are increasing, his trajectory will catch the eye of clubs in England if it keeps going up. Scouts from Premier League outfits are keenly watching his development at Celtic, much like they did with Virgil van Dijk, Victor Wanyama and Kieran Tierney. Jota feels like he is in that bracket already, a player able to rip up the Scottish top flight. What is likeable about Jota is his attitude. He is robust and not afraid to get physical. If something does not come off, he will try again. It will be fascinating to see how he fares in the Champions League next month. Celtic was not at their best in Dingwall, but didn't need to be. They controlled the ball and will lament conceding a cheap header when in front. There was a 10-minute spell when Ross County looked more dangerous and despite losing their opening two matches, to Hearts and Celtic, points will be on the way to Dingwall soon enough. Geordie Hiwula and Owura Edwards are lively in attack and they are solid at the back. Celtic had their own debutant in defence Jens, a German on loan from Lorient, deputising for the ill Stephen Welsh. He played well. Tall, physical yet composed on the ball, his only blot was a booking for fouling Hiwula. He more than atoned with his goal, and the challenge now for him is to keep Welsh and Karl Starfelt out of the starting eleven. And on that note, have a great day, Celtic fans all around the world. Let's roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the party, roll up.